It like picks you that. up, puts you in a seat, <laughs> IVs, things of that nature, and it's actually run by a physician. And joining us on the phone from Las Vegas is the owner of Hangover Heaven, anesthesiologist Dr. Jason Burke. So, you know, we, we were just curious because we've read about the Hangover uh, Heaven bus, but <laughs> go ahead and tell us what you're doing with your business. So basically the business, we have a 45-foot bus. We travel up and down the strip. People will call us or they'll soon be able to contact us via our iPhone app. We'll come and pick them up, do a short medical history, uh, have them sign a consent form for treatment, and then we'll place a small pediatric IV after giving them some subcutaneous lidocaine and give them, based on which treatment they elect uh, for, we'll give them IV fluids, uh, IV anti-nausea medicine, IV anti-inflammatories, and IV vitamins, which will resolve their hangover. So, Dr. Burke, as you, I mean, you're not talking about a cure here. You're talking about helping with those symptoms that we all feel with a hangover, correct? To a certain degree, the attack in three ways. Number one is the uh, hydration, which resolves part of the hangover. And then the, uh, the Dazitron and uh, Catorolac deal with the inflammation and nausea. And then also give them a vitamin treatment, which helps to get their liver revved up to help process the aldehydes, which are one of the toxic byproducts of alcohol metabolism. But are you creating this mindset that, you know what, we're in Vegas, let's just drink oh, like man. hell, feel like hell, and just call a hangover heaven? And I'm going to be good to go in 45 minutes so I can drink like hell again tonight. I just, I, I just don't know that that's, that feels right. <laughs> yeah. What I, would you say in response to that? Yeah, I definitely beg to differ. I think that people are going to drink uh, to their point of comfort regardless of whether they feel like their hangover is going to be treated the next day or not. People drink to the point where they feel like they're still somewhat in control. I mean, they don't want to wake up with a tiger in their room or, uh, <laughs> you know, with teeth missing or tattoos on the side of their so, face or in jail. And I don't think the hangover is really the motivating force for, for whether they overindulge in alcohol. 